hello YouTube world so it's been a little while since I've done one of these and the reason for this is that I was fortunate enough to spend two weeks in Bali which for those who don't know is an island in Indonesia that is incredible beautiful fantastic insert every other kind of good adjective here so before I really get back into the swing of things with the start of the new year, I thought I would take this opportunity to share some of my experiences that I had in Bali and to show you some of my pictures and video footage that I collected along the way. First up, if you ever get the opportunity to go to Bali, go, don't hesitate. I've done a little bit of traveling in my life, not a huge amount, but a little bit. And I can safely say that the Balinese people are some of the most friendly people I have ever come across. Not to mention the beautiful landscapes of this island, the incredible underwater life, as well as the huge variety of activities that you can do in Bali. So this island is quite well known for its nightlife and rightly so. You walk through the main city centre and there are a huge number of very good restaurants, bars, pubs, nightclubs that you can visit. However, for me, this was never really a holiday that I was after, so we didn't spend a huge amount of time here. I was after all the good snorkeling and diving. So actually, we spent the first couple of nights on a little island just to the east of Bali called Nusa Lembongan. And this area is very well known for its aggregation of manta rays. And so one day we gathered up our snorkel equipment, jumped on a boat and headed out in the hopes of snorkeling with manta rays. Unfortunately, the day we went, the ocean was very rough, so we couldn't make it to the spot where these manta rays aggregate. But nonetheless, there are a number of beautiful snorkeling spots around this area and we visited three of them and accomplished some seriously awesome snorkeling. So back on the mainland of Bali, we spent a couple of nights up on the east coast. And this is a much less touristy area, it's basically just a compilation of small fishing villages, but it is the diving hub of Bali. So while here, I did two dives on the USAT Liberty Wreck, and this used to be a US cargo ship that was used in both the First and Second World War, but it was sunk by a Japanese torpedo, and ever since then it's lived its life on the coast of Bali, and it has become one of the most popular dive sites. The day I went diving, the visibility wasn't too great, but it actually made for some really cool eerie landscapes as you swam through the shipwreck. And while diving, I got to see both a turtle and a stingray, my favorite ocean critters. So for me, I was happy and it was an incredible experience. Unfortunately, like most island nations that rely quite heavily on ocean resources, Bali's marine life is far from pristine. But if you know where to go, you can still see beautiful underwater landscapes, very cool coral life, as well as experience some awesome ocean critters. And for me, I got to tick off a couple of new species that I hadn't seen before. I nearly got swum into by a sea snake. It was the first time I'd seen a sea snake. I managed to swim along with an entire school of cuttlefish, which also I'd never seen in the wild before. And I got to experience the garden eels that are ever present in front of the USAT Liberty Wreck. I almost forgot to mention the Turtle Conservation Center. And this is a really cool conservation center. It's not really geared towards tourists. It's very small and it's all about the turtles. So we spent the morning here and we learned about the turtles, the experiences that they've been through and what they are trying to do to save these turtles. And it's all donation based. And I seriously recommend if you're ever on Bali, give it a visit because it's really a fun, educational, even family outing. However, Bali is not only for the ocean lovers. There are a huge number of on-land activities that one can do. And we managed to accomplish a number of these things. 
So most of the Balinese are Hindu and there is a very rich cultural heritage present in Bali. There are very many beautiful Hindu temples that you can go visit. There are traditional dances to watch. There are religious customs to view. There are beautiful waterfalls to swim in. active volcanoes to hike up, monkeys to visit. Rice terraces to cycle and trek through cooking and yoga classes to attend, and beautiful sunsets to witness. So overall, I was really happy that I got to spend some time in Bali. It really is a fantastic island, and that's pretty much all I have to say. So if you know of anybody who's traveling to Bali, please share this video with them. If you have any questions, you can leave them down in the comments below. Please check out my Instagram and my Twitter to keep following me. And my next video will be back to normal, so until then, I hope you all have a happy day.